Love insane. Okay, next one. 同学们牵着蛋液必须形成一根细丝下锅。哇！否则下太快很容易变成蛋花。哎呦！呼 ！Uncle Roger filming in different location today because we got special guests here. Please welcome Uncle Adam Liao. Hello, hello, Uncle Roger. I reviewed Adam Liao video recently, Yangzhou Fire Rice, and he didn't get Uncle title. But then I go on his channel, and he made me Ying Yang Fire Rice, and that very good. So now he is Uncle Adam. Yeah. Good, good. You should be. You should. Be. Even Gordon don't have Uncle title. So today we review this video. Uncle Wang Gang, the most professional chef. He making the dish you make. You think he gonna be better than you? More than likely. Hello, 大家好，我是王刚。本期视频我跟大家分享一道主食，扬州炒饭。See, Uncle Roger like Uncle uh, Wang Gang because he got sense. Yang Yang Ah Yang Xiao Xiao Fang. I think that's what they said. Uh, I actually had chow fun um last night. Yeah, that was my dinner. My dinner was so fun. It was it was so good, and it was shou mai. Oh, I like fried shou mai, y'all! Amazing. I like spicy hot sauce. Uh, spicy soy sauce. I mean, spicy soy sauce. Mwah. Playa. <laughs> Uncle Uncle Zeus cooking his dream one when I probably have the equipment because I would probably need to have a laptop or something to like put my setup there to the kitchen because like again I I stream in a room, guys. I. I I do not have an equipment to basically stream over yonder to my kitchen. Bow haircut. What is this? Man bun and goatee. What you trying to be? Hi. Yeah. <laughs> trying to look like Post Malone, but he look more like. Oh Post my Malone. god. Can't believe I'm getting roasted by a virgin in a orange polo shirt. Virgin. Uncle Roger pounding all the time. <laughs> I don't just pound Thai green curry. Virgin. <laughs> 首先，我们准备普通米饭四百克。然后加入适量的猪油，搅拌均匀备用。Mm, this is a good tip. You can either add it when you are cooking the rice, or like this when you're doing it afterwards, and just rub it through. It make the rice less sticky and it glistening, just like a forehead. <laughs> this is good start. Instead of happy ending, Uncle Wang Gang give us happy beginning. Oh my God! I fuck. Oh my! I can't. I fuck. I can't. Okay. I can't. Hey yo, yeah, I can't. <laughs> 下一步开始准备辅料，准备水发海参。Premature, don't say that. Sea cucumber, good. 干海参泡发时。Very fancy. Very expensive ingredient. Very expensive. 准备煮熟的鲜乌火腿一小块。Oh, look at those thin slices. Cured ham. Oh, those are nice. He's using the Xuanwei ham from Yunnan. He should probably be using Rugao ham from Jiangsu, which is where Yangzhou is. I don't want to. Comment on Wang Gang. No comment on him. But like, feel free to comment on him. This what we're doing. What you think this video is? We're not just watching. You need to provide some value to our listener. It's Wang Gang. Everybody can fuck up. Don't worry. This is均匀的小颗粒备用。同学们切记。See how he chopping? He's chopping so fast. Have you seen how you chop? Go watch Uncle Adam chopping. It's slower than Starbucks Wi-Fi. 准备适量带皮熟鸡腿肉，切成小颗粒备用。哦、oh, ，切开啊！熟鸡腿肉代替鸡腿。No, don't use chicken breast. 准备几颗煮熟的干贝，撕成细丝备用。Scallops, I love scallops. 撕成细丝是为了更好的释放其特有的鲜味。I like the different ingredients he's using. It shows that it's a very high-end fried rice. When you're combining ingredients from the ocean, the land, and from the mountains together, that's when you know it's like a high-end dish. Bamboo shoots. I love them. From the mountains, bamboo shoots. And nice chopping also. Yeah. What I like about him, he just say he chopping. He don't say shit like master tuan. In French cooking, you'd call that a master tuan. Pretentious le cotton blue bullshit. Actually, right now he's cutting a little bit more like a brunoise. Do you go to cooking school? No, no. The way you learn all this, you went on Wikipedia and you memorize. Call out the call out. Literally, I feel like Uncle Roger when when someone says like, "Oh, I'm self thought." Oh, you self you self thought yourself in Google. I see. Mm -hmm. Wikipedia, huh? Hiya. Not going to school. You have no degree. Hiya. <laughs> you are disappoint me to your family. Hiya. <laughs> oh my god. Memorize the cutting name. You are nut. You are nut. <laughs> Hiya. Who the virgin? <laughs> Oh, 
，准备适量超出断层的豌豆备用。Mushroom, scallop, dry seafood, very umami. All good umami ingredient. Yeah, so he's choosing the ingredients based on the umami, trying to get umami into the dish, and then also the texture because the bamboo shoot's going to be a bit crunchy, the sea cucumber a bit springy, the chicken meaty, and then that shredded texture of the dried scallops, which is also providing the umami, and then the peas are going to be a little bit of sweetness there. Yeah, this one okay if you don't use MSG. 准备几个鲜虾剥皮之后去除虾线，然后切成颗粒备用。I love shrimp. 生活的虾不好去壳。Oh, we can cut it into two parts. So smooth. This is more easy. The weighing very important step. Remember, shrimp weighing is like Jamie Oliver, full of shit. Yes, you are right. Then we add the shrimp to the blender with enough water to cook. 这一步的目的是防止焯水的。He's going to blanch the shrimp there, so the starch swells up around the shrimp as it boils and actually preserves the moisture of the shrimp. 碗中打入全蛋两颗。嗯。Nice cracking. One-handed. 然后加入纯蛋黄四个，顺着搅拌均匀备用。It's always a fancy dish when you're using not the same number of egg whites and egg yolks, because then you've got to find something to do with the egg whites. Oh, you just throw it out. Why do you think he filtering with colander? Is to get the the albumin out of the white. You never completely mix the yolk and the white. So if you don't put it through a colander, you might get some white spots. Uncle Roger think colander for egg okay. Just don't use colander to. On rice, yes. 最后准备适量的小葱切碎备用。Spring onion, good. 首先我们把锅烧热。Oh! 加入小宽油。That's a big. That's a big boy. Look at how big that wok is. It's a big boy. Wow. My, my, actually, my, my grandma has like a, like kind of like that, but like, uh, I know, I think, I think, I think hers is like a bit smaller. Or is it way bigger? I don't know. But like, it doesn't fit the entire stove. All I know is that we have big woks. <laughs> so much oil for you. What? Is, is he testing temperature with his finger? Hmm. This guy is machine for you. This guy don't even give a shit about heat thermometer for pussies. Let me just finger my oil. <laughs> Remember, chat to finger your oil, as Uncle Roger said. <laughs> you want to know the temperature of how hot your oil is? You just gotta finger him. <laughs> do you do this in your kitchen? So, sometimes, sometimes. Another tip: if you touch something hot and then you want to get the temperature out of your fingers, you hold your earlobe. Because the earlobe has very few nerve endings, and it can help you disperse the heat from your fingers. So you don't burn your fingers. 十度之后开始缓缓的下入蛋液。同学们切记蛋液必须形成一根细丝下锅。哇！否则下太快很容易变成蛋花。哎呦！呼 ！That looks so good. Egg into little string. That's so much skill. Yeah, it's a very cool technique. You actually also do it instead of into oil, you can do it into sugar syrup, and you make a lot of Thai-style sweets. You know, you see the golden thread sweets. Look nice. Wow. That's so impressive. Then use chopsticks. Look at this. Making little shred of egg. It looks so good. It's like egg floss he making. And Uncle Roger love how much oil he use. See, he use this much oil to make egg. Uncle Wang Gang, he's such a good chef. Cholesterol don't fuck with him. <laughs> Cholesterol? I don't know about that. Drinks oil. Shrimp good. Look at that fire. So Gorgeous. satisfying. This uh, is some lot of the ring fire? shit. This uh. is where the ring is made. When you add the shrimp into the water like that, you have to keep it moving very quickly. Otherwise, it's going to stick together because there's a lot of cornstarch there. If the water is boiling really fast and you move it quite fast as well, it'll stay separate. Nice oil again. Nice Short ham, dry scallop, good. Curry. Mushroom go in, good. Curry. Chicken thigh go in. Sea cucumber go in. Sea cucumber go in. Sea cucumber go in. Bamboo shoot go in. 剩下人之后翻炒几下，爆出香味。The shrimp from earlier. Fuyo, nice passing. Along with the ah. Yeah. You see how fast his cooking is? He cooking like he running late for train. Uncle Roger like that. But that's not your style of cooking. Your style of cooking like doing yoga. It's like meditation. I like. I think cooking should be relaxing. Your customer all pissed off at you. <laughs> An hour they sitting there and you're just meditating in your kitchen. If 
Uncle Roger kept saying, like, if you're if you're working in a five in a five star Michelin restaurant and you're doing it that pace, you are never going to survive. Everyone's going to hate you, including yourself. <laughs> Uncle Adam filming this video, it would look like this. <laughs> I like the different ingredients he's using. The lamb. Stop! Stop! The oh my the gosh! Stop! Because the bamboo. You have restaurant. Uncle no, Adam. No, I don't. No restaurant. No. Why you don't open restaurant? Why you scare off? <laughs> I don't think restaurant is a good thing. I have three children, so having a restaurant and three children is not really compatible. Always choose restaurant over children. <laughs> Sell your children. Many people want to adopt it. The children, Asian, correct? That's correct. the most popular model to be adopted. They're very cute. Rice good. Nice. Nice. Oh my gosh. 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 See, spring Aww. onion last thing. Uncle Adam Weijo in his Yangzhou fire rice, he put spring onion first thing. Hiya. Hiya. I think you need to add spring onion twice. Personally, I think you get more fragrance when you fry a little bit at the beginning and then add it later at the end for the freshness and the texture. That's what I think. But it's going to start wilting. I think It'll wilting start. is okay. Wilting okay? As long as you add some more at the end for a little bit of extra texture. You like flaccid spring onion? <laughs> <laughs> Chad, do you like flaccid spring onion? I just want to know. I just, I just, just be honest. Just tell me right now. If you're like flaccid spring onion, I just want to know. Oh gosh, I'm disappointed. Chat, I'm disappointed in you, Haya. Wilting, I feel bad for your wife now, Wilting. Okay, Haya. He could have added like uh, Hong Lobo to this. Hong because Lobo? What is that? Carrot? Carrot. Because when you're making balanced Chinese food, you want a mix of colors. For something like this, you would want more red in there. That's my only criticism. Okay, okay. But Uncle Roger don't like vegetable. So the <laughs> less vegetable, the better. As a carnivore, I will agree. The less vegetable it has, the more delicious it is to me. See? Spring onion second time? That's what I said too. Yeah, but he some to release the fragrance and then you add more towards the end for the extra texture. But he put it all at the end. He didn't start with spring onion. You know who started with spring onion? <laughs> Jamie Oliver. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Have you seen that video? And we'll get them sizzling straight away. You hear sizzling, I hear my ancestors crying. 20 million views, you haven't seen? Yeah. I haven't seen it, no. But I like Jamie Oliver. You like yeah. Jamie? <laughs> Hiya! Dude, <laughs> oh, I, I cannot trust this man to make fried rice anymore. GG's, it's Jover. Why I even here? <laughs> he put mango chutney in his butter chicken. I, yeah, okay, fair, fair. He used three chili for Thai green curry. That's Just fair. Just three? Yeah. Yeah? You still like him? I like some of the things he does. <sighs> we cannot be friends. <laughs> Okay. Good. Okay. Little bit of soy sauce, okay. You see he adds it against the side of the wok. You always want to add to the side of the wok anything that has firstly alcohol, because soy sauce is actually alcoholic. It's about 3% alcohol, so a little bit like uh, mid-strength light beer. If you add it directly to the rice, you get one part of the rice that's so much soy sauce and the rest not enough. So when you put it against the side of the wok and then toss into it, you're going to get even distribution. Uncle Roger didn't know soy sauce got alcohol. Yeah. Next time the bar closed, I just drink Kikoman. Uncle Adam, let's have a few drink. Cheers. Cheers. Ah. Cheers. <laughs> 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 oh no. Oh, I drunk now. Oh. Spring onion three times. Yeah. Oh, 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 that mm. looks so good. What Uncle Roger liked about this cooking video is it very focused on the food. Mm. He barely showed his face. Not like some people we know. Just talking the whole time on his face the whole time. Your whole cooking video, your face show more than your spring onion. Hiya. Hiya. I feel like you need to explain to people why you're doing something before you do it. You start very slow and sensual. <laughs> Uncle Wang Kang just bam, bam, bam. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say it. I want to ask. I'm not gonna ask, I'm not gonna say it. We're moving on. We're moving on, chat. I'm not gonna comment on it. <laughs> then done. You don't pay with a young Ooh. Look nice. Looks good. Looks good. That looks so good. Oh, yeah. All the rice separate. Yeah. Nice color. And look at the string of egg. 
that why he called Uncle Wang Kang for a reason. Yeah, so he's the boss. Thank you so much, Uncle Adam, for being on my Weijo. Thank you, Uncle Roger, for having me on your Weijo. Don't make fun of my pronunciation. Hiya. <laughs> Go subscribe to Uncle Adam channel. Very good, so relaxing. Put it in background. If you have trouble sleeping, put on his video. <laughs> you sleep instantly. And I, well, oh, you know what? That's a compliment, but also backhanded as well. I'll take that as a dub. <laughs> we all, we all take that as a dub.